Hello friends, welcome into the Coach's Corner. I am back again for the last in the mini series that we've been doing on mindset. We have taken a journey, haven't we? I cannot believe it is already the end of July and we are at the end of the month. Um, let's see, what have we covered? Hi Angel, thanks for joining me today. We have covered feelings versus choices. If you guys have not been with me through the mini series, I'm gonna encourage you to go back, scroll down, find these videos that say mindset mini series and watch from the beginning because they build on each other. And what we're talking about in all of them is where is your headspace? Where is your headspace, especially during this pandemic, but when you're going toward a goal? Hi, Joseph, thanks for watching. So that's what we have been talking about the entire month of July. So we started off talking about feelings versus choices and really not letting your feelings dictate what you're gonna do. You know, especially when we're talking about making healthy choices, sometimes we just don't feel like it, right? We just don't feel like it. And we have to let our head dictate, not our feelings, dictate where we're going with that. So we talked feelings versus choices, that was the first week. We talked about motivation. Where is your motivation and how are you moving it forward to reach your goals? We talked about last week, belief in yourself. And that's where a lot, I think a lot of people get tripped up, is not believing that they can achieve the goal to begin with. Or maybe for you, you've tried it in the past and it didn't work for you. Uh, so here you are, you know, in the space of it didn't work for me, why should I try again? And I'm gonna tell you because you were going toward healthy, right? I've said this before, if you've been with me any kind of time, you've heard me say, we're either moving towards healthy or you're moving away from healthy. And you're in this group for a reason, whether you are one of our friends or you found it just by chance, you're here for a reason. And we want to help you in that health journey. So thank you for being here first of all, and the last part of this series in the Mindset Mini Series is method. There's a method to the madness. There's a method to figuring out how to reach your goal in the first place. You know, how do you guys decide the plan that you're gonna come up with to reach your goal, whether it be health-related or not health-related, just life-related, right? There's got to be a plan. You've probably heard the expression before of how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Yeah, that is what we're gonna talk about. I had to make myself notes because I can talk about this subject for a long time and I'm giving myself 10 minutes here. If you do not get my newsletter, let me know. I'm gonna put a link down below so you guys can grab my newsletter because each week I send you a little love in your inbox and we talk about these topics in a lot deeper detail than I can go into in 10 minutes. So what's the method that you're using to reach your goals? That's what I wanna know about. Our brains love big ideas, and a lot of times we have these big ideas about where we wanna go in life, whether it has to do again with health or just life related, but your brain needs you to chunk that big idea into something reasonable that you can then attain. A lot of times we have great goals, we have big values, things that we think are important to us, but then we never follow through with those because our brain says, that's great and all, but how are we going to step by step figure this out? So this is what we need to accomplish, this is what we need to do is think about the simple steps to get there. An unrealized goal only creates frustration. And I know you guys know what I mean by this. An unrealized goal only leads you to frustration. When we have deep-rooted goals, and a lot of times we do, in our, if you think about the goals that you've had in the past, whether it comes to health or life-related, either one, we have deep-rooted, in our values, kinds of goals. Now, if we let those goals go for a time, unfulfilled, it becomes a frustration point for us. And I go into this in detail in my newsletter, 
but call it God, call it the universe, whatever you want to call it, will lead you in that direction of where you're supposed to go, go, what your life goal is supposed to be, your purpose, your passion, things that are deeply rooted in your values. Life is going to present those things to you as you go along, if you're open to them. So the first part of this, when we're talking about method, is are you open enough to see when life presents you with these opportunities that are happening? Because again, an unrealized goal will just lead you toward frustration and being upset and not being unsettled, not being grounded in who you are and who you're supposed to be. And that's what Audrey and I are here to help you do, is to figure out where's your grounding? You know, that's the first and most important thing to know. What are your values and what are you grounded in? So that's what I wanted to talk with you guys about today and relate it to method. Because we don't want you to have those unrealized goals. When I think about my journey to becoming a health coach, because at first, and foremost, I'm a licensed therapist. I didn't know whether you guys know that about me, but that's my background. I'm an LPC, licensed in Texas, right? When I look at my journey, that was many, many years ago. When I look at that journey from licensed therapist to certified health coach, what I'm doing now, I didn't have that goal in mind way back then, but the doors were opening for me in all kinds of different ways, all kinds of strange ways the doors started kind of opening for me and I got this little whisper of, that would be really fun, health coaching, as opposed to therapy, what I was doing back then. Um, and I just kind of followed the path, you know, of those doors opening up over and over again and where I'm at right now and I'm still not done. Like I can still see the trajectory of my coaching business and where I want it to go. I can still see my health journey and where I want it to go. So I want you guys to have eyes wide open, okay? When you're thinking about your goals and your plans, think back, see the line. You can probably draw it for yourself of where you started and where you are right now. What goal is that? And where are you moving towards? Can you keep your eyes wide open? for those doors to open up to you because life will present you with people and places and things to lead you in that path if you're open to it. But we've got to be open to it, right? So what do you need to start making this plan of action? You've got to have the right energy. Not only do you have to be open, but you've got to have energy. And I'm not just talking about the woo-woo energetic side of you, even though I believe that. I'm talking about, are you getting enough sleep? Are you eating the right things? Are you exercising? Are you doing all the lifestyle things that we talk about in here? Because if you are, then you are gonna be more open to seeing those opportunities. If you're not, you're going to be stuck in the rut that you've always been stuck in. And let me tell you, good intentions never got anybody anywhere, okay? So I don't want that for you. We've got to remain open and the way to do that, first of all, is having the right energy. Having the right energy. And then coming up with a plan, which we'll talk about, and belief in yourself. So if you've got those three components, chances are you're gonna probably reach that goal that you're going toward. So the method, though, is where most people get tripped up when you talk about developing a plan or a method. We've got to have, and if you're taking notes, I'm going to give you these five steps. You've got to have, number one, a simple step to follow that you're going to complete. We can't have, again, the big elephant that we're going to eat. No, we've got to eat the elephant one bite at a time. So you've got to come up with some simple steps that you're committed to doing. And that's number two, commitment and consistency. If you don't have commitment and consistency, you will not follow through in your plan. You won't be motivated to complete it at all. And then you'll be left with that unrealized goal that is causing frustration. Step number three is to be intentional. And if you haven't heard me say it often enough, intentionality is key. 
living your life with intention. There's too many people out there that are going to sleep. They are sleepwalking through their life and they have no clue. They don't have a plan. They don't have a purpose and I don't want that for you. Don't be asleep. I, I've seen too many people at the end of life stages that are regretful. They're regretful about the things that they should have done or maybe things that they did that they wish they hadn't, right? So I, again, I don't want that for you. Live the life with intentionality. Number four is, I've said it before, eyes wide open to opportunity. And number five, you've got to have focus and concentration. You've got to be focused in, laser focused on the things that you want, that are really important to you, that are, again, are deeply rooted in your values. I'm not talking about everything in life, but the things that are deeply rooted for you in your values that are important to you. So those are my five tips for planning, for methodology when it comes to fulfilling your goals and, in, and intentions. But remember, great intentions never got anybody anywhere. So don't have good intentions. I want you to have a plan. I want you to have a method for getting you where you need to be. So if you think about our mindset series, which piece has been tripping you up? You don't have to put it in the comments. I'm just wanting to leave you with some closing thoughts. Which piece of this puzzle of mindset has tripped you up? And it's an obstacle for you basically to reaching your goal. Is it the feelings versus choices that we talked about in the first week? Is it the motivation piece that you can't seem to find your motivation, your mojo to keep going? Is it belief in yourself? Maybe, you know, you've tried it, it didn't work, and now you're just completely bummed and thinking you can't do it. Or is it this piece of methodology, of a plan, of coming up with a step-by-step -step that is causing you to get tripped up and maybe a little bit unsettled, not sure where to go, what's the next step for me? We are here for you guys. Audrey and I are here for you. Reach out to us if you want some one-on-one -on -one help with working on your goals, on your plans. I'm happy to sit down with you 30 minutes for free um, of attention and really get down to the nitty gritty of what you need to do next. What's the next best step? So as we're coming to the end of July and heading into August, I sent out my newsletter this last week about the next the next mini series. It's not going to be mindset mini series, but the next mini series that you guys want to talk about for August. I left you three different options. Do you want to talk about brain health, sleep, or stress? So let me know in the comments below what your vote is. Let me know if you would rather hear about brain health or stress or sleep, which one sounds most interesting to you. And we'll continue the coach's corner coming in every week where I come in and give you a little bit of a deeper dive into each of those topics. One of those topics, we'll break it down. All right, have a great weekend guys. Happy Friday.